ओ जननी शारदा देवी राम कृष्ण जगद्गु पाद पद्मे तयो श्रिवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु In the last class, we saw Sri Ramakrishna practically demonstrating various aspects of samadhi, explaining and entering and showing now and then his whole life he is to bring the transcendental existence into our day-to-day -day life. to make us acquaint with the god intimately god is a thing which seems to be far off in the early stages and still far off that god doesn't exist to that extent the human consciousness falls down slowly with life's experiences the ever transcending world constantly changing life slowly fading down we understand human existence has nothing the universe with all its varieties and things continue continue millions and millions of years eternally so when we try to and understand slowly the realities of life and realities of existence what am i what is this world where we live what is beyond the penetration into nature makes us accept the existence of god from there begins little by little penetration into the higher aspects of nature our consciousness expands our consciousness slowly raises to higher level of consciousness where we transcend slowly the nature entirely and be in a different world of eternity we are accustomed to be in one of the three levels of consciousness waking dreaming and deep sleep unrelated to each other we are entirely different person unrelated to each other each time from waking when we go to dream we are entirely different we have no relationship with the bodily existence at all or the world in which i was living with that body i am in dream world with a dream identity and dream joys and sorrows still deeper when i go deep sleep nothing exists i alone with god and what happens there i don't have any instruments to record and come back i experience and what i experience i will not know because nature has brought me to this level separating me from all layers of existence one by one so our level of consciousness starts transcending all the three the jagrat swapna shushupti waking dreaming and deep sleep we live our normal level of existence what we call relative existence and enter into the transcendental as we enter into transcendental from the relative we go on experiencing layer by layer of that realm gradually we expand gradually we expand gradually we go to higher and higher levels of consciousness unrelated to each other we wonder what is this universe 
Where are we? Where are we going? Similarly, the gravity of karma, the karma that binds more and more may take us to lower and lower levels of consciousness. The fourteen planes of consciousness and the divine awarenesses change. Sri Ramakrishna wants us to take to that realm and make us stay there until then. Hold on to its reflection in this universe with all our duties of life inevitable and holding on to that we expand and contract. So here we see Sri Ramakrishna giving us all aspects of Samadhi and now he is telling reasoning and discrimination vanish when the attainment of God after the attainment of God and communion with him in Samadhi reasoning and discrimination uh, vichara and viveka vichara is contemplation according to the scriptural way of cogitating on a subject and it is invariably what scriptures say i read bhagavad gita i analyze i discuss i find out i search for its meaning vichara how is this how is that i try to know the few aspects within my reach of this universe and beyond of god and my own existence so this is vichara viveka is what is eternal what is temporary why have I come to this world what am i to attain where am i now how far is the goal all these aspects of life we learn in this as our day to day life so in the as spiritual aspirant spiritual world we enter so at one stage we our mind brain start oh enough of this gets tired and there will be the buddhi visarjana reasoning stops and discrimination will have its fulfillment of getting the vision of god after the vision of god the reasoning and discrimination had its fulfillment and they drop away drop away the when the reasoning and discrimination bring us to the acme or the ultimate of the sadhana spiritual practices the goal to be attained to that level when it takes buddhi the vive and viveka viveka had its fulfillment of reaching that stage and buddhi gets exhausted and says no no more reasoning now grace alone has to take me this buddhi visarjana happens the giving up of buddhi the reasoning ends and there is illumination the grace of god descends when here still it is there i have renounced it can come back to me any time i can hold on to it uh, again to that reasoning uh, why have i not realized still some reasoning and again so the re- when reasoning is fall given up and the illumination comes after the illumination it falls off like a ripe fruit hmm. it drops off 
ಬುದ್ಧಿ ವಿವೇಕ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿವೇಕ ನಾವು ಹಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಹಿ ರಿಮೇನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ ಅನ್ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಡಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನೇಚರ್ ಹೌ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡಸ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ರೀಸನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾನಿಫೋಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಬಡಿಡ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಐ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಹಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸೈಲೆಂಟ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೂಲಿ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಯೂನಿಟಿ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವಿತ್ ತ್ರೈಲಿಂಗ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ how to present the truth just like shankaracharya says hmm shloka ardena pravakshami yaduktam grantha koti vihi brahma satyam jagan mitya jeevo brahma ivana paraha shloka ardena pravakshami i will tell you half a shloka not even one full shloka ಶ್ಲೋಕಾರ್ಧೇನ ಪ್ರವಕ್ಷಿ ಯದುಕ್ತ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಕೋಟಿ ವಿಹಿ ಕ್ರೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಎ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಸತ್ಯಂ ಜಗನ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಜೀವೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವನ ಪರ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಇವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಮಿಥ್ಯಾ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಸತ್ Hmm, assessment doesn't exist but appears but it has no existence of its own he is called mithya uh, so brahma satyam jagan mithya brahma the real god alone is real and all else is illusory shri ramakrishna again and again says uh, to make it very clear Shri Ramakrishna says, God alone is real and all else is transitory, passing things. So, Brahma Satya, Jagan Mitya, Jeevo Brahmaiva Napara. And this Jeeva, the individual souls that are moving in this world are just the absolute existence, uh, sprinkled in this relative existence. as the conscious entities it is the same it is appearing here and shining because of the relative existence in which they are placed it is that alone so uh, like that shri ram krishna is telling here in hmm, how long does man reason how long how long does a man reason and discriminate how does vichara and viveka how long will he do as long as he is conscious of the manifold multiplicity is there he is saying this is different from this i am different from this i am here yesterday he was there i was not there yesterday today all relativity manifold universe is saying not one he sees manifold multiplicity everywhere he is seeing multiplicity just because he has identified with this body uh, the body identification dissolves you see one he discriminates oh this is not brahman this is not god this is this again goes on reasoning uh, and holds on to viveka who oh, i want the eternal i don't want the transitory uh, enjoyments of the world he goes on discriminating what has it given the world where is the real happiness all this viveka he uses because he is multiple as long as he is aware of the universe of the embodied beings multiplicity is seeing in matter and life i and you the duality is there i and you means it all types of duality sukha dukha labha alabha all these come into picture all dualities i you here there 
then now time and space varieties patterns all come into picture he become silent when he is truly aware of unity when he becomes truly aware of unity when the unity is experienced then he become silent oh there was there was how long do we struggle in dream suppose i get a bad dream i start running away struggling away uh, i am not able to bear uh, similarly i may be enjoying certain things in dream and how long it remains till you wake up when you wake up you see the whole thing was one the whole dream world sukha dukha pain pleasure everything i you multiplicity was one mind one mind had become one so you such a big world unimaginable dimension just like this world we are seeing now we see in the dream world space sky varieties but when you wake up when the dream breaks you will see it's play of one mind that oneness similarly oh when you transcend this nature and enter into the transcendental when you experience the spirit directly independent of matter when you know yourself independent of bodily existence then you see one you are woken up from the age long dream life soft life we are dreaming when does this dream end when does the realization dawn that one alone exists even in the morning meditation we try to turn inward and dive to find that oneness one day you cross all the layers annamaya pranamaya manomaya vijnanamaya anandamaya all this you cross and you will get the last door to the infinity when you go beyond you see the world has dissolved in it when you enter into deep sleep the world has dissolved in it as you enter as you enter the sleep you are folding the world that you are seeing and is going with you the other world which was there remains here the world that you projected on this world mine yours this that and all they dissolve and this awakening uh, whole world is similarly when you enter into samadhi the whole world enters into you and you enter into the the world that you were see when you come back that world goes forever because you are coming from the transcendental and seeing now you used to wake up from the dream and see the same world again now we entering into samadhi you no more see the same world you see a world of divinity standing in front of you so hmm, how long does a man reason and discriminate as long as he is conscious of the manifold as long as he is aware of the universe of embodied beings of i and you he becomes silent when he is truly aware of the unity truly aware of the unity i understand i contemplate i don't have realization this is the state of most of the sadhakas in the beginning then comes the exact movement of the that it is slowly opening up into the new world of existence as no he become silent when he truly aware of the unity when do we experience that being one with the absolute the one existence remains here 
Undivided reality exists. How will we know? When will we know? Hmm. When me, the individual consciousness, merges in the absolute consciousness. The identity, my identity, that is, is expanding. I, the small being, the microcosm, the microcosm expands to the macrocosm, merges in the macrocosm. The moment I merge in the macrocosm, all my dualities dissolve. I see oneness everywhere. That oneness that we see dissolves all the differences, all things dissolve with seeing one. Our mind expands to the cosmic level, to be one with nature and nature pervades all aspects of existence, the individual, the cosmos, everything is, ex our nature pervades all layers of consciousness, uh, at individual, all experiences it pervades. The lay we pass through the waking, dreaming and deep sleep, nature is pervading, be there at all times pervading this. When I enter into deep sleep, she is there to bring me back. When I wake up, she is there to take me back. When I come to the bodily level, I see she was taking care of this body, keeping it alive. When I am not there in this body and enter into deep sleep, she is there protecting the body. She is maintaining the body, the nature. When I leave the body and go to the another body, according to my karmic load and the past momentum that I have acquired, I will see I am already there. The nature is already there. She is making arrangements for my next birth. How am I going to expand? How am I going to reach that? Everything, every bit like computerized program, everything is managed. And she is there in the next body, pervading the mother's womb, taking care of my growth there. So, after I leave body, I may go to the any planes of existence, bhu bhu asva, mahajana, tapa, satyam, atala, vitala, sutala, talatala, rasatala, path, 14 planes of existence. According to karmic load, I may have to go there. She is already there, pervading it. Uh, she makes me transit. She has become the media through which I pass. I pass through her. She takes me to so nature pervades the entire universe and governs it. By her mere presence, everything is going on. She manages everything, the movements and stars. Look at the atomic configuration in a small atomic, atomic existence. How the electrons since the creation till the end, how they spin on non-stop, how they move around the proton, nucleus, unending. Look at the magnet, magnetic lines of force. How does it go constantly keeping that iron piece as magnet? Universe is existing because there is a constant flow of consciousness flowing like magnetic field. Our body is conscious because the consciousness from the Sahasrara to Mooladhara is constantly flowing. And this is what we see, nature is everywhere. When I tune myself with nature, I this microcosm with which I have identified with this body expands to the macrocosm. I grow mentally. My mind is becoming all-pervading. Similarly, when I feel the presence of innumerable beings, Sri Ramakrishna clearly mentions here hmm, how long you may, he, as long, how long does a man reason and discriminate 
as long as he is conscious of the manifold, as long as he is aware of the universe, of all embodied beings, he is aware of the innumerable beings, we are forgotten. We are busy with a small bodily existence in a small family. The universe is vast of unimaginable dimension. Beyond is the eternal, infinite existence. This whole universe, such a vast universe, is but a speck in that absolute existence. And this whole thing, and where are we in that? So, but this same spark is shining here. So, I, when I become, I am aware of the innumerable beings. When I become fully aware of its existence and feel for them, feel their sukha dukha, according to their karmic load, they are somewhere, somewhere, and I start experiencing them myself. I am expanding. My heart is expanding. Being one with nature, my mind expands to cosmic level. Being one with all beings, feeling their sukha dukha, my heart expands to the cosmic level. Not the global level, not the world level. With, to the cosmic level. All planes of existence together. And then I become aware of God. God is all-pervading reality which gives existence to all that exist. So when I become aware of God, God is all-pervading. My awareness expands to the cosmic level. This is yoga. The moment my existence, my mind is one with cosmos, my heart is one with cosmos, my awareness is one with cosmos. The microcosm has merged in the macrocosm. The individual has merged in the cosmic existence. The Vyashti Chaitanya has merged in the Samashti Chaitanya, which has become one, one reality. He sees one non-dual existence at relative existence, not the absolute, in the relativity. The Jiva, Jagat and Ishvara difference dissolves. He sees one seamless existence, homogeneous existence of this universe, the God, the Divine Mother. So this is the ultimate, that where, how long we discriminate and uh, uh, do vichara? Uh, as long as we have not reached it. Simple words Sri Ramakrishna is giving here. Uh, how long does a man reason and discriminate? As long as he is conscious of the manifold, as long as he is aware of the universe and of all embodied boy, beings, of one, of I and you, he becomes silent when he is truly aware of the universe, truly not mental conceptions, firm conception, no, it's realization, you see oneness. This is, this was what, this was the case of Trailinga Swami, one of the great saints who lived in Banaras, whom Holy Mother also visits, Sri Ramakrishna also visits. We learn today, Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Tat Sat Shri Ramakrishna Arpanamastu